Warning. Warning. This show contains mature content. Listener discretion is advised. Are you ready to get your mind blown? One angry New York City Puerto Rican decided to start a radio show. Determined to piss the world off by shoving a mirror in front of society's face. He kicked them in the balls. What are you? Who are you? This is the Crotch Shot Radio Show. Crotch Shot Radio Show. This is not a test. This is a broadcast transmission. We're going to stay on the air. And now, and now, the we be, the we be. They did it. Well, looks like the gays could get married now. Hopefully, you look, I'm just going to be positive about this whole thing. Hopefully this means this is a a boost to the New York State economy with all these homos getting married, running around, going nuts, buying dresses and suits and ties and hiring caterers and stuff like that. I'm hoping, I'm hoping this is a start of a good turnaround. Uh, you know, hey, fuck it. You know what? If, if gays could, you know, adopt kids, get kids out of the system, and and raise them to be, uh, per, uh, you know, productive members of society, fuck it. So be it. Who the fuck am I to fucking be telling people how to live their lives? You know, it ain't my cup of tea. But you know what? Hey, they're not inviting me into their bedroom, so I don't give a fuck. So, you know, congratulations on you guys there. That's that's all I want to say. Just, yo, respect us and we'll respect you. So, you know, again, good thing you guys are now going to be represented. And uh, you guys could now legally contract yourselves to each other. Which, you know what, not for nothing, I think it's a big mistake. Not because I'm against gay marriage. I'm just, you know, I, I'm personally doing the marriage strike. Because I don't want to have to uh, sign a contract with some chick that's going to take half my shit the moment she thinks that she could do a be- do better in the love department. <laughs> Freaking, because <laughs> bitches, be, bitches be tripping nowadays. Goodness, dude. Oh, dude. I, it, it's gonna, I just had a thought. I think it's going to be fucking hilarious. Hilarious. When you have the first freaking lesbian fucking divorce. Oh, she's a bitch. No, she's a cunt. She's a bitch. Fuck it, I'm going back to guys. Hey, this could be a good thing too. Because I guess, yo, dude, imagine if two gay dudes, they get married, they realize, oh, you're both, you're a cunt. You're a cunt. (laughs) Calling each other cunts. And then they get a divorce and realize, shit, I've been straight the whole time. Oh, damn. Hilary is about to fucking ensue. Now, all we got, all us straights got to do is just stand and wait and keep an uh, open eye out. Fuck it. They'll be bashing themselves. Imagine the moment you freaking sign a contract with someone stating that you are now put together with somebody and, and you, you know, the fun is over. You're committed to one person. I mean, that's the advantages gays had. They could just fuck whoever they wanted without fucking having to worry about being in a fucking committed relationship. Dude, as a straight dude, I would love a fucking setup like that. Be able to bang out any chick I wanted. Not have to fucking, you know, worry. And then shit. And then sign a contract and hold that shit. I mean, guys. Guys, come on. 
guys, gays, gays, guys, gays, guys, leses, come on. Think about it. But anyways, congratulations on everything. So, um, yeah. Anyways, let's gonna we're gonna start the show. We got some news today that I wanna cover, um, real quick. As some of you may know, I like to uh, cover false rape allegations and inequality between the sexes when it pertains to males. Because hey, I'm personally affected by this shit. And as some of you may know, I was a victim of a false rape allegation. So. <clears throat> Anyways, here it is. This is for you guys out there that are listening that are in college right now. You gotta watch your backs. In fact, more more now. Because they just love... They love going after guys that are in college trying to do the right thing. Trying to, trying to advance themselves. Trying to educate themselves. You know, so that way they can have a better future. I mean, they, they, tr- they, try, to, they try to ruin your life when you're trying to make a better life. And now, uh, thanks to the Obama administration, April 4th uh, directive to colleges that to be compliant with Title IX, they only need the slightest evidence to uh, kick you out. Meaning, meaning, uh... They need, you know, uh, until the directive, the vast majority of institutions applied the clear and convincing evidence standard, which means that to find an accused responsible for sexual assault, the school must produce evidence that unequivocally established a very high probability that the alleged assault uh, occurred. And uh, alleged assault occurred. Maybe that's too theoretical a concept for some folks. A prominent uh, men's rights advocate wrote to me, uh, wrote, when uh, we share a beating of the drum on this issue, people are not going to understand this preponderance of evidence thing, unfortunately. It means, the preponderance of evidence means the only slight possibility that the offense occurred. So basically, let's say a girl goes to the you know, the campus police with teary-eyed. Be like, he raped me. That's enough now. That's enough. And, look, I've covered on many other shows how, you know, the Duke uh, the Duke lacrosse players, the, the Hostra players. And I'm not saying, look, rape happens. It does. It really happens. But a lot of times, uh, those women that are raped, they don't come forward. They don't. So they want to throw honest guys in jail for forever, forever, for their bullshit. And a lot of times they're just trying to hide the fact that they're sluts and they love, they love the taste of cum in their mouth. And, oh shit, I I just remember that I have a boyfriend. Oh my god. I mean, come on, ladies. I mean, it's, and then, but of course the feminists want to turn around, it's like, oh, well, it's your fault for having sexual feelings. The girls don't have no responsibility, the guy should be the one that should be responsible and pump the brakes. Look, if a hot chick is coming up to me and says, yo, let's go to my place and I'm sucking the fucking cum out your balls, I'm, yo, I'm not thinking twice. I'm not think I'm the I'm not asking questions as far as oh you got a boyfriend no you want something to come out my balls yo your boyfriend is your business if you have one oh well it, I didn't know but uh, it's like if he finds out and says oh well he raped me I didn't I didn't cheat on you he raped me and throw you know and it's my fault of course I mean the feminists feminists want us in the system so that way we can't qualify for jobs. Because they think that we we are, they think we're better than them, which is why they try to put this put all these restrictions on us. Cause they think that we're better than them. Fuck, we hope fucking hold the door for you. We fucking pull the chair out for you. We pay for dinner. Most guys think women are better than us, better than men, because we we by by the sheer. Uh, evidence that we do a lot for them by, via, you know, paying, like, again, paying for dinner, uh, paying to take them out, paying, pay, you know, just 
doing things that women don't have to reciprocate. Sometimes women don't even have to have sex and, and they get all this consideration. Yet feminists think that that's a form of servitude, dumb bitches. And then now you want to throw us in jail so that way it's easier for you to fuck up the system when you bitches can't do nothing right. And by you bitches, I'm talking to the feminists. I mean, I know they're not all women are feminists. I'm not, I know all women are not, you know, the problem. I mean, trust me, I know this. And, 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 and you know, it, there's some women, you know, they're, you know, don't get me wrong, I love women. But, I mean, the reason why I'm bringing this up today is because I was riding my trike, um, my trike scooter, and it's always these fucking little ghetto girls that have to fucking pop off with shit. They're the ones that have to curse me out, fucking talk, they talk about my body, they fucking disrespect me, like, that shit is, that, like, that shit is okay. Like, the thing is, ladies, if you don't like a guy talking about your ass and tits and shit, what makes you think it's okay for you to talk about his body and, and shit, when he wasn't, I wasn't even talking to them, I wasn't even looking at them, I wasn't even doing, I was focused on me trying to get my workout done today. So I just turned around and called them a fucking couple bunch of Craigslist hookers that, you know, their fathers failed in raising them. You know, and of course, one of them was like, oh, I'm going to slap you for that. What would you do if I slapped you? I'm like, and I, I honestly said, I would punch you in the fucking nose. I would break your goddamn face if you put your hands on me. And they're so quick to jump to, jump, you know, jump to fucking violence because they think, oh, well, he's a man. He's not going to hit me. And I'm sorry, I'm a firm believer, and, you know, I got this from my mom. If a woman is man enough to hit a man, then she better be man enough to fucking take a hit like a man. This shit with women putting their hands on guys and shit, I mean, I hate, I hate watching videos where, okay, if a dude is with his chick, he, he like, checks, he's checking out another chick and she thinks it's okay to slap him. Fuck, she probably, you know, I mean, how many times does she probably watch TV and she's looking at all these other guys with fucking washboard apps and she's fucking going, <clears throat> is he supposed to fucking slap her? No, because that's a domestic violence issue. <sighs> yeah, buddy. So... Anyways, going on with this, uh, the college, uh, colleges don't need fucking, fucking, uh, uh, that much evidence to fucking kick you out out of college and ruin your fucking, uh, uh educational career. Christina Hoff Summers exposes the war against our sons on campus. The newer regulations should be seen as what they really are. They are not enlightened new procedures for protecting students from crime. They are a declaration of martial law against men justified by imaginary emergency. And a betrayal of the Title IX equality law. Yeah, guys, if you think there's equality here, there isn't. And yes, I'm going to hear, oh, but it goes both ways, it goes both ways. Yeah, take that shit to the view, all right? Take that goddamn fucking man-hating bullshit to the fucking view. Because they, they love bashing men. Oh, men are dogs, men are this, men are that. You know what? I'm a man. And I've never fucking hit a woman. I've never fucking cheated on a woman. I've never fucking raped a woman. I'm the nice guy, but hey, as as you quickly learn, the nice guy finishes last. Because women don't want the nice guy. They want the jerk. It's the jerk that they keep going to. They want a guy that's emotionally unavailable. They don't want a guy that's like, oh, honey, I love you. Because they fucking disrespect that dude. They think he's a fucking sissy. If a man just goes and turns it like, oh, go fuck yourself. Just, you know, just treat them like shit. They, that's the one that they fucking pine for. That's the one they fucking cry over. The nice guy, they're like, well, 
You know, it's it's like it's like a role reversal. The guy, the the, the jerk is the one that has, is the dominant one in the in the relationship. If a guy freaking prostrates himself to a woman and as the nice guy, and 